Okay, so let's get a first Python site up and running. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through some stuff in Terminal, and we'll do that through Visual Studio Code. So we're going to click on Terminal, go New Terminal. Inside here, we'll make sure that we have the right version of pip. So we can go pip hyphen hyphen version, hit enter, it'll tell us that we're on the latest version with version 3.13, exactly what we want. Next, we want to install Django, so we go python hyphen m pip install Django. All right, so as you can see in my particular case, everything's already been installed, so the system knows it's there. If you don't have it, it's going to run through a download and installation process. Next thing we want to do is we want to check to make sure that we've got the request section. So if we go pip install request as such, hit enter. Once again, it's already been installed on my system, so this is good. Now from here, we can close our terminal. So we can do this here, and I'll close this. We want to. Well, we can create a folder here. I'm just going to show you another way of doing it using the normal terminal. So if you right click, go to terminal, we're going to create a folder to put our Django sites in. So I'm going to go to C drive as such. I do an LS, so a listing here. I'm then going to make a directory Django. Then I'm going to change into it as such. All right, so it's empty. Now to get VS Code to open this point here, we can type in code space dot, hit enter, and that will then open up Visual Studio Code inside this folder already and you can close off that PowerShell window, no problems at all. From here, we need to do some setting up. So we will open up a terminal here. We're going to create our first site. So from here, we're going to go Python, and we're going to go Python M, and then we're going to VEMV, which stands for our virtual environment, and we're going to put in first project. So this will be our first Django site. Now notice when I do this, over here, we're suddenly going to get a folder that gets created with a list of elements that's inside of it. Next thing we want to do once it's finished downloading and setting all that up is we want to activate it. So here we can go dot slash first project scripts activate that. So you can dig through here and you can find it. Hit enter. Now we want to go into the first project. CD first project like so. So it means we're now inside this section. So if I do an LS, you'll see include lib scripts and so forth. In our Django system, what we want to do is we want to tell the system that we're about to build an app. So here we're going to go Django admin start project site one. So we're going to build our first site. Well, our first project will be called site one. So we'll click on that. It'll do some stuff in the background. And as you can see here, site one has been created. So this is our project broken down into this area. Now from here, this guy here, manage.py, that's the one that runs everything. So we need to, let's change that. We need to get into here next to the manage.py so we can run this guy up. So from here, now if I go Python manage py run server, you'll see this come through. Notice we have a bit of unapplied migrations. This is the database in the back end. So from here, I have an address. If I control click, that's going to open up a browser like so. And we're going to see that our system is up and running. So before we stop this video, let's have a look. To stop this, we can do control and C and let's run this Python manage migrate here. So here, migrate. That applies all that stuff. Looks scary. Just Trust it is building a bunch of stuff in the background for the database and then rerun your server and notice here we have a nice clean system and it's all up and running here. So that's the start of the very first site. So we've just finished setting up Django.